Yo, what's up? It's Matlock with the Beat Kangs. Gonna be doing some quick tutorial videos for you for the Beat Thing Virtual. Make sure everybody gets their uh, thing up and running right. Get your tracks out there and banging. Uh, I have been getting the question on how you would get your own sounds into the Beat Thing Virtual. I know everybody has their own little signature sounds that they want. Uh, it's very simple. You just have to first make sure that it is a WAV file. You can't take MP3s or anything like that. You do have to have a WAV file. Uh, second, I do want to show you though. Uh, when you're in pattern mode, the instruments and the kits that you're using in there, they were all made from if you go to kit or instrument and click on new. And over here to the left in your folder, you'll see the factory folder. This is the 3,000 sounds that we were talking about, you know. The BKs didn't even use half of these to make the uh, stock instruments and kits that are on the, uh, you're using in pattern mode. So let's go ahead and go there first, take a look at all these. And we can scroll down here for days and you know, we got beatbox sounds, bells, all types of percussion, drums, we got kick drums for days, congas, cymbals, you know there's a bunch of different uh, synthesizers, you can make your own uh, drum kits and your own instruments, I'm going to be putting up videos for that real soon, so check those out, but yeah, go ahead and just go mess around with those, a bunch of guitar licks, you know, we got everything on here, uh, yeah, this is too much to go through. But uh, yeah, when you do want to put your own sounds in, though, that is real simple. First thing, just make sure when you go to your systems, just check your user data path folder. And uh, I got mine here on my desktop, BTV, right over here on the side. My BTV, there's my samples. I'm go ahead and grab these, make sure they are WAV files. And I'm just going to drag them into the samples. That's it. Go over to kit mode. Click new and I'll go back up to the top, close the factory folder, then go to the user folder. And those are all the uh, the uh, files I just drug in. Those are the web files I just drug in. So simple as that. Then if you want to make a new kit, I'll go real quick, just get you started. Go to kit new. All you gotta do is drag these over to the pads. You know, and that's it.